What's going on, Sheepdog Stress here, 221B Tactical. Today we are talking about the Riggs Shield. This is a level 3A ballistic, level 3 stab resistant shield that you wear on your arm just like this. And today I'm gonna go over what you can use it for while inside your vehicle and how you might use it when outside of your vehicle. So let's get right into it. So let's start inside the vehicle. The rig shield was originally designed for law enforcement personnel to have something mounted inside their vehicle. So when they got out of their vehicle, they had some level of protection as they exited their vehicle to engage with a subject that was maybe armed with a knife or armed with some kind of weapon. Even a baseball bat, obviously this would help because it is a hard composite panel. So, and of course, if they had a weapon, it would be an additional defense against maybe handgun threats because it's level 3A uh, in addition to the ballistic vest that the officer is wearing. So it's designed to actually be mounted on the door panel just like this inside the patrol car. And there are clips that are available to purchase with the rig shield that help you mount it to the door panel. So essentially it would stay here and it would rest here permanently. Now you would pull up to a call and you see that there's an irate subject or maybe the call is for a person armed with a knife or some sort of uh, weapon as I stated before. So now when you would typically be getting out of the car with just your hands and obviously one hand on your weapon, your other hand is free, you're really kind of just based on your general police officer who should be wearing a level 3A vest, that's really all you have. So if someone comes after you with a, a stick, a bat, a knife, or God forbid, a pistol, you have no frontline defense besides what's on your chest. Of course, covering your vital organs is key. However, no one wants to take a baseball bat or a knife to the forearm or to the hand. Obviously, that can really mess you up and put you out of the fight. I can't tell you how many calls I have been on during my 13 year career where you're getting out of the car knowingly about to engage with an irate or mentally disturbed subject and they're either ha holding something in their hand or they're been, they've been reported to have some sort of weapon on them and you know, you're kind of just getting out barehanded. This is kind of nice to know that if you're getting out with someone like that crazy lunatic and they are possibly armed or you actually as you pull up see that they're armed of course now you have a couple of options with your taser of course you have your your sidearm you have your pepper spray and you have a couple other options you have your ass baton uh, on your belt but from a defense standpoint those are all let me say offensive things to help neutralize the threat. But from a defense standpoint, this would be really, really useful just to give you that confidence that if they are coming at you, you have that protection there to give yourself some time, protect yourself to, you know, hold this up, draw your taser, draw your spray, or, you know, if it's, it's a deadly force situation, of course, draw your, your firearm. So uh, you see that there's a, a strap here that you could adjust with Velcro and I've adjusted it for you know my forearm size and when it's mounted on your door you would as you just pull as you pull up to the call you would just kind of slide your hand through this and get out of the car ready to go with this on your hand just like this so you get out you know you're dealing with a, you know a hostile situation and now you have this front line of protection to walk up now obviously you don't have to walk up it, you know, holding it up like this. You could walk up holding it down by your side and, you know, from the profile end of it, it's actually pretty low profile when you look at it this way. So you could just walk up with your, you know, your arm down until the, you know, the threat presents a threat and then obviously bring it up uh, to shield yourself. But I got to tell you, I would have loved to have one of these in a lot of situations that I had been on uh, as an officer. 
I'm gonna go over a couple of the features here while we're in close range and uh, tell you a couple other things I like about it. You have an optional D-ring right here, which is nice uh, for whatever you might wanna attach to this, or if you wanna attach this to, you know, have a clip on your belt, hang it off your belt when you're, you know, in, in between using it, what have you. A lot of good options. It's always nice to have a clip or a loop or something. And then over here, you'll see on the top, there's a Picatinny rail that you could actually mount a, really a, a smaller weapon mounted light to it. And it's actually a nice feature and it's positioned properly. So if you have the shield up and you're going into a dark area, you're gonna have that light shining straight forward. So it's actually a nice feature here. And then you also see you have this cutout right here, which obviously is perfect if you have that pistol to come up and you have that pistol ready here. So very, very nice uh, design here. This plastic is really uh, heavy duty thermoplastic mold, very, very sturdy. Uh, there's literally nothing cheap about this thing. The whole thing feels solid. Uh, only weighs a few pounds, so it's not terribly heavy at all. And like I said, it's a beautiful composite material that they made this out of. One of the good things about that is unlike a lot of traditional body armor, that has a five year shelf life and then after five years, essentially you know, you're instructed by the manufacturer to dispose of it or discard it. It's no longer valid for ballistic use. Uh, unlike those items, the rig shield is actually good for decades and decades because it's made of a special composite material that doesn't break down, doesn't degrade, it doesn't lose its integrity. So for police departments and law enforcement agencies, that's a great thing because it's not like you're gonna get these and you're gonna have to now every five years throw them all out and replace them. This is gonna last for, like I said, decades and decades without ever having any concern. So another great, one of the another good pros about the rig shield. Now let's go into a situation where if you're not law enforcement and maybe you're a everyday regular civilian, American citizen, and you want to figure out how could this be utilized in my everyday life for my protection, especially with everything that's been going on these days. So let's get into that. This is going to be really interesting. And this, is, this was my favorite part of doing this test with this shield, uh, utilizing it outside of a law enforcement police car scenario. So let's get into that. One of the other things I want to mention about the rig shield with it mounted inside a vehicle or a patrol vehicle, I mean, I'm saying patrol car, but obviously if you're a civilian, you could get the clips and mount it inside your personal vehicle, of course. But one of the other good things is if you're in a situation where a patrol car, your personal car, and you have a threat approaching your car, this is a great tool to obviously hold up and get some protection because we know the glass isn't ballistic or the windshield isn't ballistic. So this is a great tool to have to give yourself that baseline protection. Now, law enforcement, of course, you're wearing body armor, but really you're not getting any coverage on the side of your body here. So this is great to hold up and give your, your head and the side of your, you know, your shoulder, uh, your rib cage over here, where a lot of times there's a breakthrough for uh, lack in protection of the body armor. So it's a great option to have here and just kind of tuck in behind it. Really, really uh, a strong coverage here. And I feel very confident with the level of coverage here. And once again, if you're a law enforcement officer and you pull a car over and the, the car you stop, and now the driver gets out and starts putting rounds onto you, onto your windshield, once again, typically you would have nothing except your chest armor. So nothing for your face, your head, uh, your shoulders. So this would be great if you had that car stop that went south and now you're taking rounds to your windshield to be able to just even, you know, obviously you wouldn't be, maybe get that arm loop in, but you'd be able to at least get this, get it off the door and get down like this and give yourself some protection at least while you, you know, you radio saying that you're taking rounds, draw your weapon, whatever it might be. You know, I'm a righty, so I always in that situation would have to cant a little bit uh, toward my left and draw my weapon and now get it up under here and now put rounds back on that subject. So, I mean, this is just a great tool for an ambush scenario. Uh, even if this, the ambush comes from the passenger side of the vehicle, you could always just kind of put it up and get your weapon out and get it up and start putting rounds back on the subject that way. I can't see anything 
with this shield in a police vehicle from a law enforcement standpoint that is a negative because it kind of rests out of the way. You're not even going to really realize that it's even there. And when the you know what hits the fan for those scenarios I just talked about with ambush, motor vehicle stop, what have you, this is a great piece of equipment to give you that maybe that extra second or two of protection and maybe it'll just it'll t absorb a couple of those rounds just enough time for you to position to get your pistol out and put rounds back throw some lead back their way which usually the bad guys that's when they start really quaking was when you start throwing lead back at them because most of them are cowards right so this is a great tool to buy you that time, give yourself that, that extra level of protection. So really like it for that. I just wanted to mention that because I'm thinking through the scenarios, I've been working with this, and that was one of the ones that I did think about when uh, going through some of the scenarios with this. One of the other things that I thought about while testing this was when you are maybe on a high-risk motor vehicle stop, a situation like that as a law enforcement officer. A lot of times you're gonna get out of your vehicle and position yourself right here in this V of the door frame and the A pillar. And you know, they say in your training, get low, you wanna bring your pistol up right around here and give your commands and be ready to obviously put rounds down in the event rounds start coming your way and you, you have some layer of protection. We're not gonna talk about whether bullets will go through doors or not because anyone who's been through real training knows the answer to that. But in this scenario, it would be great to have this rig shield on the door where you can now take it and now go into this V here with this added protection here and get down and either, you know, obviously get your pistol up here or get your pistol over top and give you once again that baseline protection. I feel like my face would be a little bit better covered than just kind of trying to get low here and listen, you never are gonna regret having an added level of protection in a scenario like that. Trust me, I've been in those scenarios a couple of times and there's always that element of, man, I, I'm kind of behind the door and behind this A-pillar here, but I kind of still feel a little out there. Having this little bit of extra, I think would definitely give most any officer in this situation just that little bit more coverage and that little bit more confidence that they have a little bit more protection with them. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an everyday carry, everyday civilian type scenario because I wanted you to know that this is not just a law enforcement specific thing for inside a patrol car. I was using this product and testing it in different scenarios over the last few weeks. And one of the things I realized was this is a bag that I carry every day. I'm going to show you what it, it, what it is. It's our 221B Tactical Ultimate Assault Pack. And, and it, ha it can be worn as a backpack or a sling bag. So I'm going to turn around and show it to you just so you guys have a look of it. Okay. You see this bag and you see plenty of people with backpacks like this or messenger bags, things like that. But the beauty of it is I realized that this, our bag ironically was designed perfectly to fit the shape of this. Now the bag fits a lot of things, has a lot of compartments, and we've had this bag for uh, quite a few years now. And it's been a great seller for us because it has hidden compartments for EDC and things like that. That's a whole separate video we could link here if you want i'll put the link here or here or somewhere but one of the things i realized is you know you're at a you're in a scenario where maybe you're at a public place uh, you're at the supermarket you're you know on, you know at uh amusement park whatever it might be and something happens you know the bullets start flying this is something maybe you're a college student you're on a college campus so what you could easily do with this rig shield is bring your bag around Open your bag up here, and it fits right against the back of the bag. So you could actually still, it kind of acts as a hard backer on the bag. So everything you, you put in there, just it has some more, let me say, rigidity or adds integrity to the bag. And you could just unzip the bag, reach in, and just deploy the shield very easily, just like this. And deploy the shield. Now you have 3A shield, protect you against uh, at least 3A threats, 9, 40, 45, 44 Magnum, 
you're going to have that protection here, okay? You're going to have a stab protection. So if someone's coming at you with a knife, you got the stab level three stab protection here. And God forbid someone's, you know, some crazy guy has a bat or a stick. Once again, you have the uh, protection of a hard panel here. Now, our ultimate assault pack also comes available with level 3a armor that you can add to it so if you had that panel tucked into the back of the bag and you had this stuck inside the bag well now you would have a level 3a panel going across you here and a level 3a panel here so you're talking about a quite a bit of protection when you're talking about here and here level 3a now the panel that goes inside the bag is a soft flexible level 3a panel and of course this is a hard 3a panel but I mean, talk about the level of protection you would have within a couple of seconds here. And of course, for those of you who know, the Ultimate Assault Pack has a hidden panel on the back side where you could have your CCW and there you go. You are in the end now, you obviously you could have a uh, firearm there, you could have a knife there, whatever your state guidelines allow, you could have there. So great option to deploy from a bag as well if the, you know what hits the fan. So in my everyday travels, I said, you know, let me see how, you know, how comfortable it is to have this in the bag. Yeah, is it a couple of pounds to the bag, but it wasn't anything where I actually noticed it after a few minutes. You put the bag on, of course, it has a little bit of extra weight to it. And I have all kinds of stuff, backup batteries and all kinds of stuff in this bag. And the added weight was, I'm telling you, negligible. I hardly even noticed that this was in there. And the fact that you could draw it out, have that shield, you know, if you want after a second, you want to strap it on. But most of the time in testing it and trying to deploy it, um, I didn't even put this, uh, my arm through that strap there. Could you? Yeah, of course. But you know, when bullets are flying, I would just want to get this thing out. And then maybe when I got to cover, I could just kind of slip my hand back through. And now it's, now it's really on there with that strap. So uh, just a couple of, couple of options outside the car, like I said, that I want to give you guys to let you know how really awesome of a tool this thing could be in a, a multitude of situations for you in this crazy world if you're looking for that little bit of added protection. So there you have it guys, the Riggs Shield. Level 3A ballistic protection, level three stab protection, pretty lightweight, solid, give you some blunt force trauma protection as well. Great to mount inside your vehicle, whether you're law enforcement or civilian, and you want that protection while you're driving around with your family, you run into some of these mobs, protesters, what have you, you never know. Great idea for that. Great idea, of course, if you're in law, for law enforcement, I gotta say, uh, I did the job for 13 years. For law enforcement, this is a no brainer. I can't see how this wouldn't be in every single patrol car in the country. I think it's gonna give that added uh, sense of security and that added layer of protection to give those, those officers a little bit more confidence going into situations and may even, you know, if you have this layer of protection, it may even help prevent a potential deadly force situation in some scenarios. So great for that. But for the average everyday civilian that's going around, maybe you have a concealed weapon you carry with you. Uh, maybe you're not allowed to. Maybe you just carry a blade with you. I don't know. But if you get into that situation and you have this to quickly deploy from your backpack, deploy from your vehicle, whatever it may be as a civilian, uh, or you know you have a, just a travel bag you're carrying with you and you have this in your travel bag, but in your, maybe you're at an airport, something, and you know now you could take this out. Now you could take this out and you know you have that some layer of protection. I mean, to, from, it really hit home for me when I would put it away and I was kind of standing there just like this and realized that, okay, as, an, as I go through my everyday situations, I have nothing on me protecting me and I have nothing that could block a, a knife or a stick. I mean, someone could just pick up any object and try to throw it at me, hit me with it, and I have nothing. But to be able to quickly go into a bag and now have this, it really, it gives you a sense of empowerment. I don't want to sound cheesy right now, but we all know as little kids, at some point we played like a superhero and we had like a shield, right? Everyone's seen the Captain America shield or if you were like a, you know, uh, watching pirates or Vikings or, you know, gladiators, you know, they, you know, they had some kind of shield with them. And it gives you that sense of, 
I don't know, it just gives you that added sense of confidence and protection when you're in a situation like that. Guys, I really, I, I, I'm, I have a hard time coming up with any negatives about this product. I'm so impressed with the build quality and I'm so impressed with how uh, functional it is and how many different scenarios you could use it in. So, of course, the link to this is below if you have any questions about it or my, my experience with using it on a daily basis. Uh, this is going to be part of my everyday bag now. Uh, if you have questions about anything uh, as someone, from, you know, someone who's been using it now for quite some time and is going to continue to use it, leave a comment below. The team or myself will do our best to answer any of your questions about this or any of our ballistic products, our shields, helmets, whatever it may be. Most importantly, most importantly, if, if you're not signed up to our mailing list, make sure you are, because when we come out with new products like this and we offer new uh, innovative stuff like this, our mailing list, which we don't spam, is the first to find out. And then you get the pre-orders and the discounts and the pre-sales. So it's actually a nice list to be on where you don't get garbage and you just get stuff that's actually there to help you out. So if you Go to our website, 221btactical.com. You can sign up for the Nexus mailing list right on the home page. If you have any questions specifically for our team, you can email them to sales at 221btactical.com. Our team is there 24 seven to answer your questions. If you are a law enforcement officer or an agency and you're watching this video and you want bulk pricing to outfit all your patrol cars, whatever it may be, give us a call. Our team is there around the clock and you can give us a call and we'll talk to you about law enforcement pricing, bulk pricing, agency pricing, things like that. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, always watch their hands, watch your six, and get home safe. And I'll tell you what, this rig shield is going to be one of those things that could potentially help save your life one day and help you get home safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.